We've talked about market segments, and we've talked about companies understanding the segments they're working at, uh, aiming for, and getting their pricing right. What we also need to note, of course, is that as society changes, those segments shift, those pricing points shift. And as the broader business environment shifts as well, the capacity to serve certain segments at certain prices will either shift. Either raw materials will become more expensive or they'll become cheaper. The rise of the 100 yen store simply can be explained by two factors. Japan's bad recession in the 1990s and the emergence of China as a cheap production location. The combination of those two things saw an explosion in these kind of businesses, can do, 100 yen store, which allowed things to be sold at a 100 yen price point to be made for a 100 yen price point.